Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Factorio, and today we continue on working on our Factorio. <laughs> well, we're working on ourselves more than anything today. Uh, we're going to make our armor, so everything was going good. I just did this a little automation here, some red and steel into here, and it, it creates an energy shield, and then there to the blue, and then boom. I looted it already, so no big deal. And then over here... We got our overclockers, or our efficiency module 3s, and we got uh, these guys here. We got tens, and, uh, oh, sorry, not tens, threes of the, uh, I call them overclockers, but they're speed and the efficiency we need for the armor itself. And we should be able to beat the, uh, beat the armor. You could try beating the armor, but uh, make the armor. Uh, here you go, so you need the two here. Boom, and then boom, I think. There you go. So that will make the armor. I'm making two sets. The reason I'm making two sets is because I'll have one that's for robot ports. Basically, I have a robot port built into me where I send out the guys and they do their things. And they kind of piggyback off of you. It's kind of really interesting doing it that way. And the other reason is because I can. <laughs> uh, let's just throw this on the floor for now. There's the other armor, old armor. And now uh, we're going to make four fusion... Uh, reactors, uh, two for each, and then I think that's pretty much it. I think we can, you know, customize it. So you right-click this, and it's a. This is why they call it modular armor because you can customize the the looks in there. So we're gonna put this here, this here. We got some batteries here, so we're gonna put uh, one, two here, and this is gonna be our shielded one. So this one will be the the one that protects our butt. I believe it's this way. And then you got these guys, and boom. And this should be enough, I think, to take a, a train hit, I believe. But uh, you'll move faster, and you'll have a bit of a buffer here. This is like your buffer. It's kind of important to pay attention. Once it gets down low, then you're kind of screwed. So look at that. Now you move like friggin' Superman in a way. Pretty badass. And uh, we're shielded and everything. And then for the other armor, so we can take this armor off, and you can basically uh, save it there. And with this armor, same kind of idea, one, two, except this time we're only going to get three shields for it, a little extra protection just in case if, you know, something happens while you're in the wrong armor. We're going to have four batteries to charge from uh, because it's kind of important for the buffer for these guys. And then we're just going to load this up completely up here with robot ports. Personal robot ports, that is. And this will make my life easier. I don't have to place robot ports anymore. And it'll have a really big range, too, now. So I'll give you an example. If we take this out, look at the range. That's pretty friggin' big. I mean, it's not super massive, but you could actually add more if you really wanted to and have more range. But for what it does, it's not bad. And um, over time, the battery will charge. It just takes forever. The reason it takes forever is because the robot ports also hold power. So everything has about, you know, power inside of it. I don't know if it says here, five kilo, five, 500 kilojoule? I think it says somewhere, two total, 2.1, oh, okay. But these hold, I don't know what these hold. Uh, recharge rate, buffer rate, they don't really say, but. So robot limit 10, 10, 10. So this basically gives you a limit of 60 robots that you can have, which that's, that's decent, actually. And now we can go over here and... Uh, Actually, well, we keep this on on so it charges it up. We can get a bunch of robots from over here. Somewhere over here, I swear. Oh, it's up here. And actually, your legs are probably slow right now. Actually, they seem to be okay, but they might be slightly slow. They feel kind of funny, probably because of all the charging it's doing right now. Uh, these guys here, here we go. So, let's get uh, 11 in my inventory. I don't know if they stack past... Oh crap, I'm missing a whole bunch of them anyways. Hey, I finally got that one robot. I wonder how I got it back in my inventory. I wonder if somehow I just stalled out there and I picked it up. Ah, oh, here they are. It's like I swear I had a bunch of robot ports somewhere. That was 48. There's some more missing. I guess if you bring this out, we'll see where it is. There it is. Oh no, that's that one. Do they somehow connect and one stole it, or...? Let's check it out anyways. 
I have no clue where my robots went. Well, there's that one construction. This is the, probably one the one that I lost one like way far away one day because they deleted the robot part and he ran off and I couldn't chase him. And it was like, yeah, that's it. I lost him. I'm still missing one robot. It's not like I would have... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So I don't know if we can get this bigger than 10 or not. Or 50, I mean. Darn it. I guess the max is 50. It doesn't matter. Sit there. So, yeah. That's kind of how it works. So you could, you could do something like this. You can go to the forest, for example. I kind of would have liked to have it charged up by now. But I'll show you an example. We'll just go over here to the forest and we can say, okay, we have to clear this for whatever reason. The robots will come out of you and do the job just like that. And they charge on you as well. And that's it. Pretty damn cool if you ask me. That's probably one of the nicest features. It used to be a mod. Yeah, it used to be a mod, but... Um, Unfortunately, uh, the mod had some bugs and this kind of had sort of fixed them. So if we take this off, I'm going to put that on there and put this one on. And this is your faster Superman style. And you can't swap them, I don't think. No, you can't. So you have to, to sw do it. You have to take it off first before you can put the other one back on. So keep that in mind. So, um... I guess today would be a good day just to do some clearing down below because uh, I just I need more of the alien juices anyways and it would just be a good opportunity to show you more of this armor um, and get it going so you probably get it charged up more if you don't move right yeah yeah Let's look at the, let's leave it there. Let's play around actually for a bit first and we'll do that near the end. So we're getting ready for rocket defense actually. Uh, the rocket defense will be a bit yet like, cause I have to do solid fuels, things like that. But we are getting to the point where we're creating lots of concrete. This is the concrete itself now. I don't know if I've, hopefully, this doesn't stop the recording. No, it doesn't. So you could do this sort of idea, and you can increase the size of it and place a bunch at once. So I actually wanted to start concreting the base itself over time. But you can see, I, I made a mod here. This is my mod here. Uh, concrete 1K, I call it. Because I think you can only hold like 100 concrete, and it just seemed ridiculous. So I decided to make a mod that, you know, sort of does our, th you know, thing for us. Um, which actually reminds me, you're probably a running low on stone. Uh, 57k actually, not too bad. So the stone is going to be used for the rocket defense anyway. So if we check out the rocket defense somewhere here, we're going to need uh, a lot of steel and uh, we're going to need concrete, which we have the 1,000 concrete. Now we just need some steel and some electric engines. Maybe we could do that now actually. Since you wonderful people are here and I, I did go crazy on our electric engines, which is great. There you go. And uh, yeah, some steel, some pipes. And then some steel. So you can steal it away. I think that's enough, right? There you go. And I did I can't say rocket defense, I meant rocket silo. I think that's what we called it a long time ago, but it's a little different now. And then we're going to fill it up and launch a rocket eventually. Filling it up is basically these satellites, so we have to work on those, but we could put it anywhere we want, really. I haven't decided where I want it, to be honest. It's dealer's choice in a way, but um, maybe up here. We keep crowding down here too much anyways. So here we go. Boom. We can give it some power. What? I'm right here. There you go. And there you go. Zero, zero percent. So every time you give it a rocket control unit, a rocket fuel, and a low density structure, I think it goes up by one percent, or is it ten of each? Actually, maybe it's ten of each. I forget. 
Is it 10 of each, maybe? And then a 1,000 of it? I don't know. It's quite expensive either way. That's probably what it was. It was 10, so a 1,000 of each of these uh, will give you what you want. And I think this is 1%. This is when you want to do productivity modules no matter what. So I haven't really done many productivity modules, but this is probably a good time for me to say, okay, it's time to grow up and do some productivity modules. Because that you don't want to screw around with. You want these as productive as possible. You want it slow, but, I mean, you'll save so much in the end on cost, so, yeah. Oh, and I screwed up on these, didn't I? There you go. And those are, okay, and these are twos. Oops, there you go. And then you might want to clear, oh, it's actually kind of cleared right now. Never mind. Just maybe grab that. Perfect. Okay, so that'll start doing that for us, hopefully. Yep. Uh, I need to worry about green circuits. They're not working so well anymore. Um, I need to increase this, I guess, overall. Copper is actually not doing too bad. Funny thing is, it looks like it's the output of these that are actually more troublesome. Either way, I'll expand this off camera and then we'll be able to fill that in. And I may, I have a bunch of overclocker ones so I can fill the gaps in there. Okay, so now that we are, I think we're ready, let's go ahead and put our combat on. Our bot one is fully charged because the battery itself is charged, so that's a good indicator of that. And uh, let's go and do some. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we're going to be a bit smart first. Let's make some accumulators. Let's make some accumulator accumulators and solar panels. How much are solar panels? I wouldn't mind doing some of these, actually. Steel. Okay, that's fine. Steal my thunder. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing some solar panels. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not doing that. There you go. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. It's nice being able to move around the base, though, faster. Woo! Um, it's like, what do I get rid of? I'll get rid of these guys, too. I want this on my bar somewhere, maybe. There you go. That's what I want to make from me. And then we can get rid of some of these. And then we can get rid of some of the ores and that wood. I, I should get some more stone on me. It's always good to have some stone on you. Uh, yeah, okay. So solar panels are getting made. Perfect. Um... There you go. I want to make some accumulators. So, oh, you know what? These are probably not running, by the way. Need some little alien juices here. Yep. I was just thinking, though, uh, I probably are going to want to um, get some, some. Yeah, I'll definitely want some stone. And then we need some accumulators, of course, which are just batteries. So what I'm building here uh, is just a bl little blueprint, basically, for my, um, what are we reducing? Uh, oh yeah, battery, okay. Uh, this is for solar panel. I have a little thing here that places this, and basically all it does is it's a mobile uh, radar station that scans for us, and that's all it is. It's just something I've had for a long time. And uh, I place them without having them being on the grid so I can be on the edges. So when we're exploring, we can explore even further based on these. And that's literally all it is. And it makes your life ten times easier because now we know what's out there. When, especially <laughs> when we go exploring. And it's not too bad. How come I only see one? I guess that's all I made. I might have to automate these, I guess, later. Okay, let's get some more iron here. Let's get some basic resources. 
And then, so there's some iron. And, uh, got steel, blah, blah, blah. We could grab some batteries, I guess, just so we have some. And then, uh, I think we're kind of done. So let's go exploring, shall we? Oh yeah, so this is showing you that my iron here is finally getting low, so it's just telling you that. Here it is. That's a nice thing. So basically on its estimate, 2 hours and 19 minutes, that iron will finally run out. Woohoo! The copper, unfortunately, 5 plus hours in game time. Eh, whatever. But at least we have it hooked up to the point where it is going to be depleted and it's, you know, we're not stuck with it forever. So let's go to the bottom. Maybe not into that. There we go. Think we can beat it in time? Nope. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna teach you something here. These bots are gonna yell and cry at you now. So what you're gonna want to do is place a storage chest somewhere here and throw some of these in here. There you go. If you don't do that, they're gonna cry at you when that train comes back saying there's something needing repaired, but they can't repair it. Actually, you know what? They might not be able to anyways, because there's no construction bots there. I forgot about that. I don't know where that train was going, but hopefully we let it uh, stay there for a bit so we can do our own exploring. I'm going to say we should probably go down here, maybe? Yeah, probably down here. Okay. Oh, crap! We have to go back. Welcome to the life of Factorio. So later on, you can make a resource train that can come to you kind of thing, but uh, I don't have one of those things yet. I accidentally forgot to get ammo. We had... we crafted a crap ton of it too, so... We automated it. There you go. There you go. Finish that. There's a lot of things we can do. I, I don't know if I really want to do the, the laser thing yet. I feel like I'm saving that. Same with the teleporter thing. Um, but it's getting to the point where it's like, just pick something, you know? Uh, okay, so we're going back up. Where am I? Here I are. So I made a lot of ammo in here. Not that I need that much, but... There you go. Oh yeah, do do see no construction robot to repair it, so they're gonna cry. I told you about that. Is there a way to? I don't know. I've never even looked. Can I zoom in and out on the map? I don't think so. Never looked. I, I don't think you could, but time zooming out further than you can just so you can see the red spots would be nice. So, when you're playing multiplayer and watch this, see that how it's like doing that? It's because you're doing some weird stepping thing or whatever, and when you go into multiplayer, it kind of stops the, st uh, the leg fix or the smoothening or whatever. Um, so it's like real like real time at that point. So it gives you that jerk, which sucks because in multiplayer, it gives me a headache. Um, but there's nothing really you can do about it as far as I know.
Don't lag. <laughs> so yeah, basically this is what you do. You just come in here, you take out their bases. And that's it. So we're basically Rambo. Now these guys are still quite young and they're not bad. Later on they can be a lot worse, of course. Big worms are usually one of the worst, so it gives you an idea that we're doing pretty good. Uh, even against the big worms, so... Now remember, this is based on this battery too, I believe. Some of this battery is used if you get too low, so... It's like a buffer. Seems like actually it's a little better now. I think they might have... Oh, I feel like some things might be a little easier. I don't know why. I feel like bases have been breaking easier and... I don't know. I must be crazy. So, is there a radar thing down here? Oh yeah, there. Is that train's back again that the that's what I mean that it always keeps saying you want to be repaired so we'll have to add some construction robots there later so it looks like this group might have moved here since we last scanned it There you go. How many of these orbs we got already? 139. Not bad. Not a lot, but... They do add up over time, and it's a good way of getting them. So if, for example, this edge here, it's probably a good, like, this is a good amount of ore here. Wow. Wow, this is like a really good spot here, actually, because of the all the different areas. So this would be a good spot to set up this radar, right? So what we do is we take off our current power armor. We have this one on. So we're still safe-ish. Just make sure you're not fighting anything when you do this. And then you can place this down, and it'll place everything for you. And boom, you're done. That's it. Um, and... Uh, this will run now because we're doing it who knows what time of day at the point but uh, because uh, you know it could be night or day whatever uh, it might uh, affect the um, charging right now but the idea is it will run self-efficient self-sufficient uh, over time and it'll be perfect And then we'll just keep running over here and do some more cleaning. You move pretty fast too like this, so it's kind of fun. Later on you have these defense capsules that you can spawn hundreds of them and go in and be a cowboy as well. 
they're not bad. I still like the shotgun approach, but eventually it gets pretty annoying where you'll really need to just use robots. See, this is where things can get trouble. So. Notice my battery is redu my battery was draining too. That's a big problem. You can see spitters too now, so we're getting the spitters. But yeah, when that battery drains, when it goes completely down, you'll end up losing a bit of speed. So that could be really problematic. If you can't move anymore, that's it. Your game over, right? So. Wow, there's even more of them. Whew. Pretty full base here. And you auto loot just by walking on them. You can hit F2, but back in the day, you always had to hit F. Now it's nice that it's auto loot. And then there was a mod that we'd use that was a magnet one by Lauren. See how I'm not moving now? It's like really slow. And that's what happens. So once you lose that buffer, when you, you look on that, and if it's starting to drop halfway, you run out of there. Honestly, you just run. You 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 boot it. Or stop trying to get hit. One or the other. Uh, because if you don't, you just it's gonna hurt more and more, of course. So you gotta play smart, of course. But uh, yeah. You got some oil here, which is good. I really need to expand my oil production. How many of those orbs we got now? 362. So there you go. They're starting to add up. Nice little choke point there, too. Oh, it's cleared there. Nice. Looks like there's more oil over here. So I definitely need to start setting up new outposts here very soon. So you can see it draining there, because we're low on energy. But it'll, it'll catch up by the time we're finished. Oh wait, did we miss something up here? Oh, it was just the oil. It looked red sort of on the map, so I was like, oh crap, we missed something, but we didn't. That darn combat robot missing, or construction robot, sorry. Researching combat robots keep making me think otherwise. There you go. Yeah. I don't know if the Ammo will automatically free fill here or not. Let's see here. I have a feeling it doesn't, but. Oh no, it does! Okay. For some reason, I thought it didn't one time. Maybe it didn't a long time ago, but it does now, so that's good. So I'm not going to go further than what we've already found here. Um, mainly because I'm just trying to only get what we have and I'm not trying to over expand. We got lots of materials in the area and I'm just doing it at the borders. 
because I don't want the map to be ridiculous in size over time as well. So we can do this again. And we'll play season here at the same time. There you go. And then flip our armor out of here. Excellent. And that's all. So I'm going to keep doing this for a while, maybe a, an hour or two, who knows, watching some NCIS, my favorite show. And uh, we'll uh, continue next time. I don't know if I'll have any new outposts up or running or not, but uh, it'll probably be related expansion stuff or maybe just a, a run through what I've done. Uh, but please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.